Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Scientifically Explained. So, I was watching a football match between Portugal and Spain this weekend when a player named Cristiano Ronaldo kicked the ball in one direction and it swung into the goal in the other direction. I was doubtful about the trajectory of the ball. I mean, the opening of the goal was fully covered by all the players, but he bent it into the net so perfectly. So how did he do that? Well, it's no magic. There's a physics behind it. Basically, it's a technique in football that you use the inside of your foot to generate the spin in the ball. That spin makes the football to curve into the goal. Suppose a person is right-footed, and he hit the right side of the ball. The ball starts to spin. Now, when the oncoming stream of air passes the ball, the side which is in the direction of the ball will be accelerated following the curve of the ball, deflected off to the right direction. While the other side of the ball that is opposing the air slows down and goes straight. So we get a net flow of air as right direction and we know if the direction of the air is right, the ball must go in the left direction, which is Newton's third law of motion that states, Action and reaction are equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction. So when the ball on the right side slows down due to the opposite direction of air, a buildup of air is made. That makes a higher pressure on the side, which pushes the ball onto the left direction. This phenomena is called bending the ball, or curve the ball. But in physics of fluid dynamics, this phenomena is known as the Magnus effect. In this case, it's dynamics of air, we can use this phenomena to curve the ball in any direction. If you kick the ball with the outside of your right foot, the ball will bend onto the right direction. Similarly, if you hit the bottom of the ball to give a backward spin, the ball will go up into the air. Remember the airflow is extremely important. This phenomena does not work in vacuum because no air interferes with the ball. Now you know, so next time you watch a ball bending like this, Tell your friends about the science behind it too. Stay curious, comment below if you have any questions, and as always, thanks for watching.